Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you another episode of BeamNG. Today we're going to be doing the Industrial Shakedown Challenge. If you recall last episode we did the Port Shakedown Challenge. I'm assuming this is by the same person. And initially I thought the Port Shakedown Challenge was in the game, but maybe it's not. I just download a whole bunch of mods now and just throw them in there. If there is a download link, I'll add it in the description. Okay, looks like we're using the Modified Sunburst and why are we up this high? This oh oh this is a this is bad this is this is a really really wow okay this is a way this is like a hell of a way to start off a challenge it's like let's just throw you up on the highest platform and make you drive off it no I've already missed that okay let's reset here I actually should pay more attention it said hold it wide open on the first jump here which I'm assuming it's this okay all right that was good I thought I held it wide open last time but. Apparently I didn't. Let's hit the platform here and that's gonna be, oh, okay, I did make it. I, I need to pay attention. I gotta hit that really in the center because if I miss that, that's gonna be very bad. I'm surprised I didn't actually destroy the car there. All right, let's see, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, oh, that's a hard left, hard left, hard left. Oh God, okay, that's not bad. Uh, part of these challenges is really just learning the layout and this is gonna, Wow. Reset. This is going to bring me to another point. Um, somebody got mad last time. He said I was resetting like way too often. And I was like, isn't a part of the challenge getting a good time? Isn't that the point? I don't want to take a half destroyed car across the finish line. And this is not going well at all. Yeah, I don't want to take a half destroyed car across the finish line at, with a really crappy time. Like, to me, the point of these challenges is to have a decent time and have a decently intact car. So that's why you see me reset so often, because I'm never satisfied, and for some reason I'm screwing this up. Maybe I should just stop talking. Uh, let's see what this looks like from this view. So that'll be fun. There we go. Oh, uh, that was a really rough landing. Okay. Something doesn't feel right either. Yeah, it's, it's broken again. This is, uh, this is off to a great start, guys. I'm hoping you're enjoying watching me crash. Let's see. 23 checkpoints. That's a fairly long... I want to say this is going to be a really long map. Uh, I don't know how spaced apart these are, and... I just don't get it. I'm... I need to focus. Okay. Full throttle here. Thinking first gear. we got to get plenty of power coming off of this. First gear fall down that okay all right okay that was that was very bad but we landed it I'll take it all right right hander here got to remember this left hander this left hander just comes up and there's a building sitting there I mean if I don't remind myself the building will definitely remind me come on lock it down a little bit of handbrake there we go coming around first gear oh there's another oh this is a little tunnel all right all right, we're, we're on the ground now. I like this. And oh, that's a jump. Okay. Ooh, wow, that's really tight. Okay, that's gonna. If I have to reset, I need to remember that's gonna be a problem spot. Let's see. Got a gravels, or I guess this is a sand section. These things are always terrible. These are really deceiving. Like they throw the car around, but they also like to grab it and just rip it off the track. And ooh, those are two poles. I'll hit that pole before the end of this challenge. I guarantee it. All right. Here we go, left-hander. Looks like we're going into a garage or something. Oh, poles. Oh, what are we doing? Whoa, whoa. Okay, gotta get around here. This is this is not good. I, well, I have a feeling this well, is this slow. I don't know. This is a really tight section, anyways. I probably can't go too much faster through there. Oh, I see a lot of trees and bushes. If you watched my last episode, you know those are absolutely terrible in this game. They love to rip you off. And all right, this isn't so bad. I'm liking this. All right, here we go under this, and this is a where do we go? Where do we go? Okay, all right, we just loop around here. You know, maybe we'll just use this almost as a practice run. I feel like there's spots here where I can really gain some time. I just got to know where I'm going first. So I mean, like back there, that could have been a just an awesome e break ripping whoa all right a lot of sand here a lot of sand all right looks like we're gonna rip a little bit of a hairpin here coming around got a left hander here that's not bad all right another 
jump. Actually, we're back where we started, aren't we? Wait, we're supposed to go back up the... Wait. What's... Why does the checkpoint go over there? Mmm, man. Okay, that's... That's good to know. Uh, it looks like you're gonna go up the ramp, and the checkpoint, I guess, was over to the right. That's... That's strange placement. Like, it aimed me right at the ramp, so I'm like, oh, okay, we're, I guess we're jumping back up this thing. I guess that's probably a better way to end the challenge is to go stay on the ground, because I can't imagine jumping back up this thing again. Alright, well, we're going to reset there. You know, I didn't feel like that was going to be a good time anyways. It was almost like a practice run. Get familiar with the course. I actually made it really far, so I don't think there's going to be too many more surprises. So if I can remember this, and I need to lock it down and get it to the left. All right. I need to try to find ways to make time through here. I'm getting... I'm getting better with the e-brake, I'm getting better with counter-steering, uh, I play a lot of racing games, I've said this before, but just, you know, getting used to this game's a little different. Ah, that tire's burst. Yep, tire burst. It's busted. Let's reset. Alright. Let's see. I'm trying to think of ways to make time through here, and the best solution I can think of, I, I like to go down in gear and I'm... You know, power sliding feels like it's the way to go. Uh, sometimes people tell, I've been told, well, don't slide around so much, you know, you're losing time, but to me, stopping in these turns is just not, not an option at all. Like, it just doesn't feel right. It's just supposed to be all about speed here. Whoa. See there, I mean, I need to get used to just tapping it. Sometimes you, you get to where you rip the e-brake and you'll hold on to it and it just slides straight out into the buildings, but I need to learn to tap it and just kind of throw it around. Oh, I'm gonna miss this. Oh, crap. Ah. Okay, we are resetting again. You know, this doesn't feel quite as bad as the last challenge. This first part's hit and miss. Like, even if you go wide open down that first ramp, it seems like... Oh, crap. Okay. Anyways, even if you go right down this first ramp, full throttle, sometimes it just still feels like it damages the car, and... I don't really know, like, we're not gonna avoid that. Uh, you have to go th down that, look, the engine is starved of oil. I mean, I guess it's gonna make it? Like, that's, I don't know, that's a little strange, and not necessarily, I don't know how old this challenge, you know, they've done some updates with the physics, maybe this was made before that, but damaging your car, and that was slow. Damaging your car down the first jump, that really doesn't make sense to me, but... I don't know, and I gotta pay attention here. This thing is stupid with the wall. I'm gonna hit the walls again. Oh, okay, well, at least we're gonna burn to death. That's good. That's, okay, here's the two problem spots. I, I'm starting to get familiar where we're gonna have the most problems. Here, because it's hit or miss, it seems like I'm gonna get damage going down that first bump. Or jump, I should say. And the one jump that has walls on each side on the landing, and you know, you've just gotta hit that dead center, and Coming off that gravel transition, that sand transition, it, I mean, it's going to take being pretty perfect going through there. Okay, I just, now I know what to expect here. I've got to find a way through this. This is going to be bad. Let's see. Third gear, angle it, and God! Oh, this, this jump's getting annoying up here. Like, I've gone through it so many times, and even if you barely, you barely clip the wall, you're going to blow your tires out, and... Oh, I made it! All right. All right, we're good. Got to focus here. Let's see, we got a right-hander? No. Uh, it's been so long since I made it this far. All right, let's go with the... Let's go with the... I think we got a long, sweeping right here. There we go. A-break. No, no, no! this jump. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I think I know how to get that. Uh, I think I've been kind of power sliding through there too much. I think putting it in third gear and just kind of coasting through it, you you carry enough speed that you're going to make the jump without the risk of killing yourself every time. So, feels good here. We've got a nice slide going there. Let's see, left hand. We're going to go up here. got to avoid the pillars. This is a really funky section up here. It's not necessarily hard. It's just a slow section. Like, I'd like to drift right there, but that outside shelf would 
completely destroy the car. Same with here, just trying to get it to go. You know, that was actually fairly solid. I, all right, I'm happy with that. Let's see, we're going, I'm trying to remember what's coming up here. I've been so focused on those last couple of jumps that it's just, oh, that was good. Yeah, that's okay, we're good, we're good. Let's see, okay, let's see if I can hit the e-brake here, see if I can get a little bit of a slide. Ooh, we came really close to that outside shelf. All right, we're good. That was probably not the best, but I don't feel like I lost too much time there. All right, what are we on, 15, 16 here? Oh, right, this sand section, it's kind of tricky. It just wants to rip you off. Like, sometimes it feels like it's going to do a really nice power slide, and other times it's going to just kind of pull you off the track, so... Let's see, okay, got to remember, coming up, we are not going up this ramp. We're going to the right here. There we go. Left, in and out of these containers. Where are we going? Okay, right. I'm assuming a left. All right, left, left. All right. Oh, you're kidding me. You are kidding me. God. All right, no, that's not acceptable. All right, let's line it back up. All right, that was uh, that was rather embarrassing. I had, to, I had to stop there for a second. I was right there, and I hit the last pole. I, I feel kind of bad. That's, that's terrible. Okay. Oh, that was a, that was a bad engine. That was a bad landing. That I'm getting the engine starved. Well, I think it's actually okay. I, I think it lasts. This would probably be an issue if it was a longer course, but I think we'll be okay here. Let's see. Oh, ooh. Almost hit that right side. Let's see, right through here. Second, third gear. Third gear on this jump. Got to coast a little bit. I'm a let off. There we go. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. All right, let's go here to the right. Kick it out a little bit. This sand's tricky. The sand doesn't quite drift. Like, it's it's really unpredictable. Uh, let's see. Got to go here and... Yeah, here was my embarrassing spot. I hit that pole. I think I even said that earlier that, like, watch, I was going to hit that. Told you. Ooh, gotta go here to the left. All right. Gotta watch the pillars. This section's just weird. I mean, yeah, it's just thinking, put it in the second gear here. Second gear, even on this, this car, it still has a lot of wheel spin, and it's enough to get through this section. It kind of use the acceleration to turn the car uh, that's I love this car I mean this car is awesome so hopefully I mean maybe I can find some more challenges with it whoa oh that tree was really deceiving I thought I was gonna hit the tree for some reason let's see all right try to eat rip the e-brake here carry some sort of speed that was better than last time okay all right let's see be careful here. I mean, one wrong move, you're going to plant yourself right into a building. All right, a little bit of e-brake. Ooh. Yeah, it just, it's just not turning quite the way I want it to on the sand parts. And Ooh, that was close to a blown tire there. All right. All right, guys. Let's see. I just got to hit this jump here. There we go. Try to get this section down. Right. Left. I've got to beat that 233. Got to beat it. Let's see, there we go. There we go. A little bit of e brake. No, don't miss it. Don't miss it. Mmm. Don't miss it. Keep going. Keep going. I probably lost a little bit of time there. Probably lost, I want to say, maybe about a second, second and a half, maybe two. I think that's a good time, though. I, I feel like I'm getting lucky. Uh, some of the jumps on this thing are crazy. And, if I, if I repeat this anymore, I'm gonna dry myself and say I, I don't want to. I don't want to go to the point where I hate the challenge. So I feel like that was a solid attempt. We had a couple, couple good, good goes there. So, anyways, that's probably gonna about wrap it up for this episode today, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my videos, supporting me. It's been awesome. I know the past weekend was a little rocky with uploads. Uh, it's just been crazy with work, but. I love the support. Tomorrow we should have some more scrap mechanic. Uh, we're coming up on 10,000 subs, which is insane. So I'll definitely address that and think of something to do for that whole situation. But 
anyways hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you guys next time thank you